Today, I'm joined with Rudy Shoshani. He is the founder of DX Talks Podcasts and Events, where they talk about digital transformation. Today, we'll talk about crypto, blockchain, and how he built his podcast to over 130,000 views in one year. But first, welcome to AI Nerd, AI with Attitude, where I try to make things as unnerdy as possible. Enjoy learning today about the latest trending technology. But before we begin, please subscribe, hit the notifications button, give it a like, and drop a comment below. Welcome to AI Nerd, AI with Attitude. Today I'm joined by Rudy Shashani, who is the founder of DX Talks, events and podcasts, where they talk about digital transformation. And I'm going to give a little bit of attitude today, but not too much because he's way smarter than I am and I hate to get embarrassed. Rudy, how are you doing today? Great, great. Today is a glorious day, I guess. <laughs> well, where, where are you located today? In the Middle East. It's the entire Middle East. Do you want to? <laughs> what, is, what is your? Ah, we're right focusing right because now. we're actually, yeah, we're actually focusing on on uh, the GCC area, and in specific uh, UAE uh, and KSA, Bahrain, Kuwait, and that uh, part of the world. So in the Middle East, you have the you, the podcast focuses there. Now, is your voice like known as like the sexy voice guy of the Middle East? Do you, do you <laughs> not yet. Up? Not yet. I'm trying to pull some new moves. Yeah, <laughs> you, guys, you guys talk about uh, digital transformation, which is a uh, AI nerd. I certainly appreciate all those pieces. But take a moment before you get into that to kind of maybe tell me, talk about your story, how you got there, you know, why you started the, the events and podcast business. And I will be quiet and listen. Yeah, sure. Uh, you know, everything starts with a challenge. So uh, we were, you know, mumbling before COVID uh, back in uh, February 2020. You know about doing such a thing and then uh COVID hits and then the world is locked and you know you cannot go you cannot come you cannot you know do anything you're just locked in, at, the, at, the, at your house and me as you know as an entrepreneur and as a person who really love to do things now all of a sudden i'm like you know locked like in jail and my emotional and my mental state uh, was not the best because you know i cannot go out i cannot network i cannot share so uh, we decided with a friend to go and do uh, the first uh, podcast and we hit it it was actually a success you know everybody was home everybody was uh, you know eager to learn eager to connect and we opened another one the week after and another one the week after and soon we're hitting our 100th episode so <laughs> things wow. has uh, boomed you know we have more than uh, 130k views uh, we're hitting now uh, constant shows are happening you know a lot of things since then you know we're, 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 we're more or less 17 or 18 months now down the road uh, so yeah things has uh, <laughs> changed a lot yeah that's amazing you and uh, 130,000 views. What did you do to kind of spark the interest to grow so fast? Because that's, I mean, that's significant. <laughs> that's, I'm, I'm, I'm selfishly asking because there's 18 people that are going to watch this and they're going to want to know. Yeah. Uh, well, on my on my channel, probably <laughs> there will, it will hit more. Uh, but the idea I, of... I hope so. I hope it's more than 18. <laughs> <laughs> now, as long as, you know, the word is out there. Uh, what's happening is what happened is uh, we approached the first company in uh, December 2020 because we wanted to grow the show and then that was after uh, more or less uh, eight months so uh, we were we got slapped big time because uh, the first word was who are you what is your numbers what are your credits you know and then that wasn't our focus so that was a good slap because since then we created our uh, youtube uh, and then we focused on a strategy for for growth on on youtube and with that uh the more we focus the more views and the more shows we threw the more you know we have two different talk shows or uh podcasts also uh focused one on crypto one on digital transformation and the boom of digital or, or the boom of crypto you know it was the right time also and that uh exploded in april and we exploded with it so it's 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 a double-edged sword uh from there uh about the views and we are speaking in arabic on one of the talk shows very exclusive in arabic so we can get the arabic viewers 
And I think that was a competitive edge. We get, you know, hosts and guests also, but uh, they speak English. But more or less, we don't, there's, there's no one actually speaking that language for that topics in the whole of the Middle East. So we are really positioned into uh, being a leader into this. So that's why possibly also it's bringing back uh, results and, and uh, you know, views. That, that's amazing. So, I mean, yeah, crypto is massive. And if you found a sub niche to it, uh, when we were talking before, you had spoken about how in, in the Middle East that, that they're trying to become, if not, they have not done already, the crypto hub of the world. What's your kind of take on that? You know, you know why? And, and, and going, I mean, it's a different kind of tra digital transformation maybe than most people think, but that is certainly a massive digital transformation. But maybe, maybe give a couple thoughts on that. Yeah, it is. It is a digital transformation on a financial sector as a whole. Uh, I just came back from uh, from Jitex uh, Technology Week uh, last week. And let me say, it was an amazing experience, you know, after the lockdown, because Jitex 2020 was, I, I'm not going to say it's a failure or it wasn't a failure, just people didn't show up. You know, there was not enough people there to take that risk, go out of their comfort zone, go, you know, the, not many vaccinations and so on. But this year, oh my God, the people, the spirit, the, the vibes, the parties, the connections, the dinners. You know, I used to walk uh, in Jitex uh, more than 20 kilometers every day, trying to connect people, trying to meet people, try to educate, try to get, I was, you know, all around and then so many people there. So that brought a big front. And what they did this year is they created a whole pavilion for blockchain technologies. And this is where we're talking about digital transformation now. And when, what I saw that they're trying, CZ from Binance, CEO of Binance was there, not once, not twice, not three days, you know, it was on a daily show, different events and so on. A lot of regulations, a lot, a lot of regulated companies now are available and they're trying to bring more uh, also influencers and people of, you know, who's in, uh, in OG in, in the crypto space and the digital transformation to try to enhance that part and they want to be really, this is what I sense, they want to be really the leaders in blockchain or uh, crypto world. And of course, once it is regulated in UAE, the next market is KSA, Kuwait, Bahrain, and so on and so on. As long as it lands somewhere in the Middle East, it's going to explode. And this is what they're trying. Hopefully soon, this is what I see, that Binance will open a Middle East office and possibly, you know, the rumor says it, a head office because they want them to be the leaders and they are giving them like ecosystem. So imagine today, you don't know where is uh, technically uh, Binance. You know, if you want to follow it, you cannot follow it. You don't know where it is headquartered. So imagine all of this happening. And yes, we are witnessing a big, 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 big boom on the, on the front of uh, crypto and digital transformation in, as a whole. So you have to give me a, 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 it's not like a stock tip. Which, which of the currencies should, is, is the one to buy now? What's going to be the biggest high flyer? Go. I don't give financial advices, but what we say, there's, you know, the, we give the top three uh, uh, projects because, uh, you know, we could be investing in anything and the next day it just booms or it disappears. We just saw a, a, uh, one last week, which disappeared directly from the exchange. It was a total fraud. Uh, but anyway, uh, what we see, <laughs> not that one, we, you know, read. <laughs> uh, it was related to the Squid Game, actually. It was a big fraud about Squid Game. So anyway, what we, you know, from, from the literature and our research and all of this, we see that the ecosystem of blockchain is about three things. One of them is the Cardano blockchain, which is still in its, you know, they're trying to develop now a lot of smart contracts and things uh, that will enable it and make it explode. So that's, uh, it's called the, the, the coin is ADA. So that's a big possibility. It's still around $2. Uh, so it has a big potential to grow and it's a competitor to Ethereum. To Ethereum today is 4,600 something all time high. That's one. Uh, Solana is, is another blockchain, another type of uh, problem solutions, which has a big project uh, in its back. Uh, you have Uniswap, you have, I don't know, so many, you know, uh, coins, but I would say uh, if we focus on, on those uh, three or four uh, projects, you know, again, it's not a trading advice because also in our show, we don't give a trading advice. 
because uh, that's a crazy, you know, you wake up today, you have a million dollars, the second day, it's zero, the other day, it's, you know, it's a very volatile uh, market. So uh, <laughs> we cannot yeah. really. Uh, I, I will tell you, I, I haven't woken up any day and I had a million of anything. <laughs> million of debt maybe i may have i may have woken up to a million of debt but i don't think i've ever <laughs> woken up to anything else <laughs> That's I hope a... it out. <laughs> but i'm gonna go well, buy me. just imagine if, if you if you followed uh, tesla for a while with his uh, shiba and his dodge coin uh, you would have been millionaire for now so <laughs> uh, if you invested one thousand dollars you would have had half a million uh, from the beginning of the year to today that's just right. Imagine. I just listened to a friend of mine last time this year and he said, buy Bitcoin, it's going to go over 60. I was like, okay, whatever. And when he told me that three years prior, I should have listened then too. Yeah, <laughs> so, anyway. A little bit amount. That's, that's the idea, you know. We met uh, in, in, uh, in Jitex, uh, Didi Tahito. He's, he's the guy that sold everything in his life. His wife's shoes, his jewelry, everything, you know. It's good he didn't sell his wife. And uh, <laughs> he invested everything in Bitcoin in 2017. Oh, so okay. imagine today, you know, he's traveling the world, he's being sponsored all over. So it's a, it's a, it's an interesting uh, story. That's a gambler. He, he, yeah. he was, his wife was going to sell him if that didn't work out. <laughs> yeah. Could yeah. you imagine that conversation? You got to trust me. I know it's not real money. It's cryptocurrency. And we're going to sell everything and go into it, including your shoes. Well, I do say I do say this though. I do walk around my garage, and I think, oh, I could sell that racket for five dollars, and that could be big. <laughs> like, and that's how I look at it. I was that's like, a, that's a good advice, actually. Sell it, and in, and just put it there. Yeah, it will go grow. Me. Garage garage sale. It doesn't matter. Just yeah. go buy it. Anything. Oh my god. Um. So the I, I mean I, I I mean I'm gonna have to come on your show just because it's so popular and it selfishly will promote mine. So great. Thank you for asking. I'll be there tomorrow. But whenever you. <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> Whenever you look for guests, you know, what's the profile of the guest you're looking for? Uh, definitely, they have to be leaders uh, in their space. This is what we look for. And they have to be one of those uh, trying to also give, uh, you know, value to the market and give value to the, to the network and uh, bring something, you know, not just being there as, as, you know, you need to, like me, I'm, I'm working hard. You are working hard. Would love to host you, and as you said, you agreed. So <laughs> that will be likewise. When, whenever I can uh, invite myself over to your place, I will. Whenever I can just invite myself over to your house, I'm just going to come on in and get a beer out of the fridge. And anytime, anytime. <laughs> so yeah. Um, I you know I had I, I was catching up with somebody else who's in in the digital or the, the, the crypto, and he was looking at uh, how blockchain specifically would destroy the idea of marketing through um, a site like mirror.xyz where you basically would create a token for a product and then as people bought the product they own part of the token and then as it as you distribute and you get like-minded people to buy they actually own part of the products they're buying and, it, and if it's an area you don't know that's fine I'll, I'll wipe this section but it's interesting how i look at blockchain as a technology how it can absolutely decimate just established functions uh, of business. I don't know. Do you have a thought or two on that? I'll try. Uh, <laughs> because, you know, the whole blockchain is actually disrupting left and right businesses, even on the e-commerce side. Look at the e-commerce by itself. Now we're talking about de-commerce, de-commerce, which is decentralized commerce. So what is decentralized commerce? It's, you know, today, if you want to get an e-commerce website, what do you do? First, you need a developer, you need a POS system or e-commerce exit or gateway, and you need you know, to bring your uh, items, of course, and pay uh, hosting and pay whatever and whatever and whatever. With decentralized commerce, you remove all of these and you accept Bitcoin on a platform, and then you just display your product. So it's the same thing, as you said, it's disrupting. Marketing is disrupting uh, commerce. It's disrupting finance. It's you not know, 10 years back or 13 years back. If you talk to banks, you tell them about Bitcoin. Ah, you know, it's the evil himself. Look today, Chase, Chase Manhattan, JP Morgan, all of them are investing. All of them are taking part of this portfolio. So uh, they're no longer able to fight it. It's disrupting left and right. We have ATMs of Bitcoin now or, you know, it's that digital transformation part of 
it was accelerated and further accelerated with COVID because we need to move. And then also you have to imagine one more thing that we have a lot of unbanked people in the world. We have around 1.92 billion unbanked. So that number, you cannot really go and say, I want to bank them. Not because of the technology part, because with banking, there's a lot of regulations. You know, you need uh, uh, people to follow up, people to take papers. You need, there's a lot of things. You need to have your ID and so on and so on. Some of those are refugees. They don't have even an ID, identity card. So this is where blockchain and that transformation actually solve all of this with a blockchain or crypto or Bitcoin or anything. Technically, you don't need an ID. You only need an identity. What's what's one area do you think blockchain though has no business being used that's being applied to today? No use. <laughs> uh, well, even on you know, I, I would have told you uh, on the physical side, but even it's disrupting the physical side. What do I mean by disrupting the physical side? Uh, let's say today, you know, your car can run on a blockchain. Your house can run on a blockchain so you know and how does that work and how does that connect everything today when we're talking about you know more smart the more smarter it is the more accountable look at non-fungible tokens nfts today how they open the world to anything i can sell you uh you know my uh, my house here based on a contract on nft and then you will be legitimately legitimately uh, authenticated on a blockchain and that transaction is written publicly on a blockchain where traditionally it would have never been thought of as a, as a use case. Uh, I don't know what use case really that it's not going to disrupt or it will disrupt in the near future, but today it's, it's all over uh, yeah. <laughs> wherever it's going, wherever it's going, it's, it's, it's touching everything. So I was thinking, I was thinking like fake art people. <laughs> People don't want to sell you fake Monets off a of blockchain because then you couldn't you couldn't prove it was real. I was thinking more legal yeah. and various, but um, you know, I, I, would, I would let me ask you just as a you know I always have the shameless plug for you right is you know you're a you're you're a thought leader you're an expert out there in digital and it could be anything right blockchain to business of uh, what's your preferred way for them to get a hold of you and, and prove it to come onto the show. Ah, uh, there's different ways to uh, uh, to reach me. Was it my LinkedIn? Was it my Twitter? Was it my uh, Instagram? R U D Y S H O U S H A N Y. So you can you know reach me at any any way uh, you want. So uh, I'm always available. Always reply to you. Uh, I you know you are <laughs> twenty four seven. Uh, available i don't sleep <laughs> even if i sleep i wake up so uh, it doesn't matter that's not healthy i want to tell you, you may want to stop doing that <laughs> i want to get some sleep no tiktok I, I i don't see you out there dancing a little bit a little TikTok. ah well it's, it's good for you to say that because uh you know i hired a new uh lady that to handle my marketing as of uh, the beginning of the month so I said uh, before, you know, I, I just want to focus one channel at a time and then grow that channel. So I focused on LinkedIn. That is my primary bread and butter. And then later on, we focused on YouTube and then Facebook and then uh, Instagram. And then always TikTok was was not in the, in the formula because I just, you know, time wise, uh, you cannot even replicate all of your work. So we started automating on that front. And now with, uh, with this uh, new lady, thankfully, uh today she opened tiktok so uh it's uh, dx talks events uh at tiktok good i i started one myself a week ago and i feel dirty <laughs> <laughs> i always you know it was like uh, the first thing she told me you know a part of the growth uh, uh factors uh you need to throw in some funny videos. I said, what funny videos? We're in a digital transformation. You know, right. we're talking about AI, we're talking about blockchain, crypto. You know, just throw in some advices on the crypto, top five, top whatever. And then this is actually where we're going to be starting with our uh, Crypto Talks uh, podcast also uh, to try to, uh, you know, bring back or bring into the region also uh, the Arabic that we have an advantage into. And then actually we're going to go into the English and the Arabic languages, both of them. So we can have double content uh, 
That's great. No, I, I, I agree. You have to, you have to be on all of them. Like, uh, you know, and I share your, your, your disdain for thinking TikTok, but I think there's a business place and you do have to do humor. I agree with you on that. I think I'm trying to speak Filipino in my first two videos. <laughs> Clearly, I'm not very good at it. So anyway, different topic. Well, as long as it gets people started, you know. Right. Uh, we're preparing actually a video. I was on, on a travel last week, so we prepared a couple of shots uh, on uh, some funny stuff. Uh, we're trying to also bring it there. Uh, business humor. <laughs> you know what? I mean, maybe one of my TikToks, because I, 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 you know, experiment with content all the time just to see what works, is you can give me four different ways to say something in Arabic, and I will try to do it. <laughs> that'll be because yeah. that'll that, <clears throat> once my voice gets back from crushing karaoke, well, I'll do that. Um, yeah. Hey, thank you so much for joining me, today, Rudy. As, as always, catching up with you, it's energetic, it's fun. I, I'm going to start. I, I don't actually listen to a whole lot of podcasts, but I'm going to listen to yours just because I think you'll know more about blockchain, and, I, and then I'll have. You know, then I'll have a chance to make that million and wake up broke at the same time. I will not share, sell my wife's shoes though. That's death. That would be a mistake. <laughs> I did that. But thank you so much for joining. Uh, thank you again for hosting me, uh, Thomas. I think it was uh, a great uh, session. And thank you for watching. Uh, you know, uh, don't forget to join us, uh, DX Talks, on all our channels Rudy, R U D Y S H O U S H A N Y, Rudy Shushani also on all the channels. Awesome. Thank you, man. Cheers. I hope you enjoyed the video today. Thank you for listening, watching. Please subscribe, turn on notifications, hit that like button, and drop me a comment below. AI Nerd. AI with attitude.